Howdy, Nerdorinos. Howdy, Nerdorinos. It's Nürnberger here. Hello. With Liam. Today is a very exciting day. It is the Vintage and Modern Toy Fair. Now, this is a big deal. It's not just any toy fair. It's an enormous toy fair with over 250 oh, tables. A sign. We finally found it. Oh my goodness. We are so excited. We've um, been walking around and uh, there's we couldn't see an entrance anywhere. So we've just been wandering. But we've found it. So far away. <laughs> it was worth the work. Uh, worth the walk. So here we are. We're entering. We're looking for me, Barbies. What are you looking for today? Yeah, just looking to have a good time. Looking to have a good time. And that's guaranteed with over 250 stalls. We're going to go line up for half an hour because our ticket's not till 10 o'clock. Oh my god, so excited. We have just arrived in the line. And they weren't kidding. I can see so many things in the line already. It is very dangerous. No shopping from the line. Having to wait outside while I watched all my friends inside buying toys was too much to handle. But once inside, these were the scenes. People everywhere, over 250 stalls, so many toys to choose from, it was almost overwhelming. I went straight to my friend Pretty Nostalgic AU's stall and their friend's stall to look at all their Barbies. It's my first time collecting Barbies so I really had a good look, made sure I chose the right ones and I ran into my friend CJ who picked up this 1997 cool blue Barbie. She's really rad. Straight after from seeing my friend CJ, we saw a CJ from Baywatch Barbie doll, yes Pamela Anderson, as well as all these McDonald's collectibles. This is from Out of Time Collectibles, a great store that goes to all the conventions. Look at this Midge collector carry case. I nearly purchased that. An amazing bag of grimaces, which should have been a million dollars, because he's the best. And I absolutely love these Simpsons Playmates figures. I was thinking about getting Chief Wiggum as I still need him, but he is common, so I did leave him there. Right next to that were these awesome Terminator Future War figures still on card, and of course some crash test dummies. We used to have a massive collection of them. Don't anymore. A Marzing Inbox Hot Pink Barbies. I wanted every single one. And this is my boss at work's little collection here of Barbies he was selling, trying to tempt me, giving me sweet staff discounts. Then Liam saw this amazing toy called the Samurai Star Explorer. We didn't pick it up because it was $150, but oh my gosh, was he tempted. Then we ran into my friend Ramus, who had picked up this Spider-Man 3 new goblin figure. Nice choice, minty in box. This is how excited I get at toy fairs. Look at my face. Catwoman 2004, Barbie doll, Halle Berry. What a find. I was so delighted. Then we checked out this store because I had the Masters of the W Andre the Giant figure, as well as some little Smurfs. I really wanted that clown Smurf. Then we found some Godzilla blind boxes, but we only wanted the vanilla blowing bubble, so we didn't want to risk it because we couldn't make sure we got that one. Man, if you're a fan of Power Rangers, this was the toy fair for you. There were so many minty pieces, expensive, rare pieces. It was a joy to look at all together. Such a cool collection. Then we went back to Outer Time and I found this Colger Club wallet, which I really wanted, as well as this pen topper of Chris O'Donnell as Robin. You don't see that every day? I had so much restraint at this fair, you guys. I kept to my budget pretty well. That's the other thing about these toy fairs, is when you go, you don't have to spend lots and lots of money. As long as you're going around and supporting the toy sellers the best you can. But it's okay to just look and enjoy all the nostalgia and see things you've never seen and perhaps things you've forgotten existed, which happened all day for me. The smell of these strawberry shortcake stand was so delightful. It was so powerful and brought back so many memories. And of course, these epic Cabbage Patch Kid roller skates I nearly purchased. Let's say thanks to Will everyone for a great time and that awesome shirt by my friend Jay. Oh my goodness, my friends, we are home. It is a few days later. Hair change, outfit change. Uh, I just got to tell you about this toy fair. It was, it was, I just, oh my god. Okay, so Saturday, right, I had drag con and I saw all these cool drag queens. Uh, Simone, Gabrielle Labucci, Tammy Brown, just amazing, right? So I'm already on a high from Saturday and then I couldn't sleep because I was so excited for this toy fair. People kept posting on the Instagram, this is what's gonna be here. There's gonna be these Barbies and these Batmans and it was just too exciting. So then I had a bad night's sleep, woke up, and I was like, right, I got ready at like 7 in the morning to go to this toy fair. Our tickets were not until 9 o'clock. No, they weren't even to them, they was till 10 o'clock. Gosh, I did get ready very early. Anyway, so 10 o'clock, waiting in line. I could see inside, I could see my friends shopping. Hi, CJ, having a great time. Hi, Will, everyone's having a great time. And then it was our turn. And once you walk in those doors, I don't think my camera even captured it. 
like hundreds and hundreds of stalls, 250 tables to be exact, and just people everywhere, everyone having the best time. I met so many of you there, it's like the most I've ever been recognised, which was just delightful that toy people are my people. I just want to do a quick little shout out to Kristen that gave me this amazing pin of barbecue shapes, the only shapes that I can eat because I'm a vegan. and. I was just delighted to receive such a gift. I think they made it themselves. Either way, I'm asking, if you don't know what shapes are because you're not from Australia, look them up. They're a delightful snack that you eat like chips. Or what do you call it? Yeah, chips. Potato chips. They're like potato chips, but they're not. They're delicious. They taste like barbecue. Anyway, thank you, Kristen. It was really nice to meet you. I met so many of you. Uh, it was just a delight. Very tiring. I ran out of my voice by the end of it by talking to like all the store holders, all the people there. It was just like this big celebration of toy lovers and it was just such a positive, wonderful atmosphere. No one was being a creep. No one was being annoying. It was just great. It was just such a good time. So thank you Will and thank you to everyone at the Vintage and Modern Toy Fair for running such an amazing event. I cannot wait for the next giant toy fair. There's another toy fair coming up in October. I think it's October 22nd if you want to get some vintage toys of yourself. Of yourself. For yourself. Whew. But uh, yeah, that big one's going to be once a year, hopefully, if it went well. And I think it went well. Anyway, so... 250 tables. I obviously had a focus on Barbies and Liam was having a great time looking for vintage video games and so let me show you. Okay, I'll show you Liam's things first. Uh, first of all, it's the Simpsons game on PSP from 2007. Never seen a PSP game? Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a very different looking game. It's a disc in a plastic casing. Very strange. Uh, this game looks super fun. The animation is taken like from the TV show and then they've kind of animated it and made a storyline around it and it's just really great. His fuppin's really interesting enjoying the footage here. He's really liking playing <laughs> The Simpsons with us. But yeah, really fun game. 2007. Didn't realise it said not to be sold separately on the side. And when I asked on my TikTok, here is my social media, TikTok, uh, lots of you answered and let me know that there was actually a Simpsons PSP that was released. And now I'm going to go on the hunt for that. I've never seen that before. But how cool would it be to put the two back together again? Put the family back together again with the PSP game of The Simpsons game and the PSP that matches. We're so excited to be adding to our Matchbox figure collection. These all came out in the 90s and these are Jerry Anderson's Thunderbirds. If you don't know Jerry Anderson, let me just give you a little history lesson. A great puppeteer, marionettes. Yes, these shows actually look like this and were puppets. 60s and 70s were a magical time for experimenting with animation and puppetry and just doing amazing things on screen. So here we are, Jerry Anderson. Thunderbirds, great show, but Liam was really excited today to find another Matchbox figure from 1992 and it's from the Stingray TV series. So amazing. And this is a figure of Titan the Evil Sea Lord. How amazing is his face? We didn't even know they made figures for Stingray in the Matchbox collection, so now we're going to be looking everywhere to find more. Now let me share with you my toys. The first is these Arthur figures from 1996 Hasbro. This was like right at the end of the fair. I was peering into this person's table and caught right behind another toy. It had been hidden with these two and I got them for $5 for the two of them. Amazing Arthur and his dad. Uh, the very first figure of this I got was from Heather Sparkles. Remember Heather Sparkles on YouTube? Wonderful person. They've now kind of left YouTube and are just doing spooky ghost hunting. But back in the day, they gifted me my first ever Arthur figure and now I have four. I've got Arthur's mum and dad and two Arthurs. I need to find DJ. I didn't even know they made Arthur figures until Heather Sparkle sent that to me. So, Arthur figures, amazing, five dollars. Little bit of backstory for you here. I am an 80s baby and I used to absolutely love a show called Punky Brewster and the animated series of Punky Brewster. I had this Punky Brewster puzzle which I don't have anymore and I'm on the hunt for it. But anyway, Punky Brewster loved that show and that's actually why I wear odd socks all the time because Punky Brewster did and she's a fashion icon and I just used to love her when I was little and I love Punky Brewster. Anyway, Punky Brewster bowl. Yes, 1984 Decker Plastics Punky Brewster animated series bowl. I was delighted to find this. It was only $10 and super mint. This stuff never lasts on the side of these plastic cups from the 80s and 70s so I was really really excited. $10. Punky Brewster bowl. What a deal. Alright, I know you're all waiting for it. Yes, I picked up Barbies. I picked up four Barbies in total to look to add to my little little collection. I've just started collecting Barbies. I've gone down a Barbie hole like most of us after seeing the Barbie movie. The first one I want to show you is this. This is the 1984 Sweetheart Valentine's Barbie dress. Alright, just the dress. 
I picked this up for $22 from a store, which I think is a bargain because the actual sweetheart Barbie with dress is like a hundred plus, right? And Australian dollars. Can't afford that right now with other things. So I picked up this kind of Frankenstein version uh, and it's on what I have learned from TikTok and all you lovely people out there when I asked for help is Twinkle Lights Barbie from 1993. Now this is fiber optic actually on the Barbie. Like it's stuck into the Barbie, not the dress. And she has a little button here usually. I don't think she has, oh, no, she still has the button there. And she glows, right? And the fiber optics go, Broo! and her dress that she usually wears is pink and poofy as seen here and glows. And I just think that's really cool. So I've got this Frankenstein Barbie of two Barbies, 1993 Twinkle Lights Barbie and the 1984 Sweetheart Barbie. And I think it's delightful. I like the fiber optics coming up from the dress. She still has her original earrings and necklace from the Twinkle Lights Barbie. And I just think she's delightful. So you guys saw the footage of when I found this, right? And I thought it was $140 on the price tag. And it was arming and ahhing. And then I looked again, it was only $40. So of course I picked it up. Catwoman Halle Berry Barbie doll from 2004, also known as Patience Phillips. The best Catwoman, other than Eartha Kitt as Catwoman in the uh, live-action TV series, 1960s. Eartha Kitt is the best. But Halle Berry, I love that movie. I love the basketball scene. I love how cheesy it is. It is such a fun movie. Anyone that says that movie sucks has uh, no taste and is a, not a fun person. All right? Just enjoy your life and enjoy Catwoman. So excited to find this doll in box. I absolutely love the art on the back of the box. It kind of reminds me of Shag. I don't think it is Shag, but really, really rad. 2004 Halle Berry Barbie doll. I think it's the first of my famous gooses. That's what I call them here. Famous goose Barbie doll. Famous people Barbie dolls. Bloop. Not just Barbie, but Catwoman Halle Berry. As soon as we got to the toy fair, I was so excited to run to my new friend's table. Pretty Nostalgic AU on Instagram and TikTok have been so helpful to me, helping me recognize Barbies that I find from um, op shops and fixing them up and teaching me things from their Instagram. They do like how to do their hair tutorials and stuff. They're amazing, right? So they were there with their friend selling Barbies. So I ran there to pick up some of the replica rings and earring sets uh, that they make for Barbies, you know, when they lose them. So I was really excited to get them to fix up my pre Pretty and Peach, my Peach Barbie. I loved this doll growing up and that shawl. So excited to have replica earring and ring to fix it. And then uh, at the store, I saw this guy. This is 1990s Hawaiian Fun Ken. Now, how could I resist this crop top and short combo? Also comes with a visor and a boom box. He's got everything he needs for a fun time at the beach and that hot pink box. So this is my first Ken. I don't think I'll be buying many Kens. Because I don't care as much about him. I do really want Shaven Fun Ken because I flipping loved that doll as a kid. But at the moment, Hawaiian Fun Ken. Uh, and I love the back of the box. I want all these dolls. They also had the skipper beep, beep, there at their store. But I had to be a good girl and I picked them all up. Beach in sun. Fun by day. Haulers and parties by moonlight. What a good time. Look at this. Good time on the side. This is him. With a frisbee. Is there a frisbee in here? No frisbee. Oh, there is a frisbee. Oh. Oh my goodness, I can have fun with the frisbee as well. <laughs> the things you learn from the cider boxes. Anyway, Hawaiian Fun Ken from 1990. And this is my absolute favorite thing I picked up. Working Out Barbie from 1996. Look how minty that box is. I've been watching the Instagram and TikToks of this person called Barbie Mum, and they've shown me how to wrap them in cellophane to protect the boxes because part of our apartment gets a lot of moisture from the windows and that's where the Barbies are. So I'm going to protect the box, keep it nice and safe, cellophane wrap it, but this is it. Working out Barbie, 1996. She comes with a cassette tape, which a lot of you told me on my TikTok that you loved the song and played it over and over as a kid. I don't know the song, I'm going to have to look into it. She comes with a cassette player herself, little weights and a drink bottle. I just flipping loved it. And that Lycra outfit is amazing, amazing. So excited to pick her up. She was a spenny. She was $150 of my money that I worked very hard. I worked seven days straight to save up money to go to this toy fair and I didn't even spend that much. But this was my big one, my big Shamu. <laughs> the one I spent the most money on. Isn't she lovely? Oh my goodness. I just had the best time at the toy fair. I had so much fun talking to all of you. And thank you so much for coming up and saying hi. I can't wait for the next toy fair. It's going to be a long time. I don't get Sundays off very often, so I don't think I'm going to make it to the next one, but maybe the one after that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you picked up at the toy fair down below, please. And if you made videos or anything on it, let me know. I'd love to watch them and see what you picked up and the fun you had. Thank you so much, the Vintage Modern Toy Fair, for putting this on. Best day ever. And I'll catch you guys real soon. Bye!